Have you ever wondered if it rains on other planets just like it does here on Earth? A fascinating question, isn't it? Now, when we think about rain, we usually picture water droplets falling from the sky, nourishing the ground beneath. But what if I told you that rain is not an exclusive characteristic of our home planet Earth? Yes, that's right. Extraterrestrial weather is a captivating field of study, and it introduces us to the concept of rainfall on other planets. The cosmos is teeming with celestial bodies, each with its unique atmospheric conditions, and believe it or not, many of them experience what we could consider as rain. But it's not always the rain as we know it. The scientific processes causing this rain can be quite different from what we're used to. Rain, as we know it, is not just confined to our blue planet. Let's delve deeper into the cosmic showers. Rain on other planets, known as alien rain, is a fascinating topic that unveils the mysteries of our vast universe. But how does this otherworldly precipitation occur? Just like on Earth, it all comes down to the atmospheric conditions and the dominant molecules present in a planet's atmosphere. Let's begin with Venus, our neighboring planet, often referred to as Earth's evil twin. Here, rain is made of sulfuric acid. Yes, you heard that right, sulfuric acid. This happens because Venus's dense atmosphere is rich in sulfur dioxide and water vapor. When sunlight hits this toxic mix, it triggers a reaction, creating sulfuric acid. This acid then condenses into clouds and falls as rain. But here's the twist. Venus is so hot that this acidic rain evaporates before it ever reaches the ground, creating a perpetual cycle of acid rain that never truly touches down. Moving on to Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and one of the few places in our solar system with a substantial atmosphere. On Titan, it rains methane. This is because of the extremely cold temperatures, which allow methane, normally a gas on Earth, to exist in liquid form. When Titan's cold surface heats up, methane evaporates, rises, cools, and condenses into clouds. These then precipitate as methane rain, shaping the moon's surface with rivers and lakes of liquid methane. Now let's take a leap beyond our solar system to an exoplanet named WASP-76b. This planet experiences a rain like no other. It rains iron. This happens because one side of WASP-76b always faces its star, making it incredibly hot and causing metals to vaporize. When this metallic vapor reaches the cooler night side, it condenses and falls as iron rain. So whether it's acid on Venus, methane on Titan, or iron on WASP-76b, the type of rain on a planet hinges on its atmospheric conditions and the dominant molecules present. Indeed, the cosmic ballet of rain dances to the tune of the planet's atmospheric symphony. Our journey through the cosmic showers has been enlightening, hasn't it? We've discovered that rain, as we know it, is not a universal phenomenon. Rather, it's a delightful dance of atmospheric conditions and dominant molecules. Take Venus, for instance. It's not water that falls from the sky, but sulfuric acid. Or consider Titan, Saturn's largest moon, where methane reigns supreme, creating lakes and rivers in a world far colder than ours. Then there's the mind-boggling WASP-76b, where it rains not water, not acid, but pure molten iron. Rain, as it turns out, is a cosmic chameleon, taking on forms as varied as the planets it graces. Each planet, each moon, each celestial body, has its own unique weather system, its own unique rain. Next time when it rains, remember, somewhere in the cosmos, a planet might be experiencing its own unique shower, a reminder of the wonderful universe we inhabit.